What is Dental SEO? A 10-minute executive overview. My name is Dr. David Wank, and I'm a practicing general dentist in New York City, and I'm the president of Short Hills Design, which is a web development, search engine optimization, and social media firm for dentists. And in this title, what I want to go over with you is an executive overview of search engine optimization, the big, big, big picture. Here's my contact information. You can hit pause now to write it down, or I have it for you at the end. Now, before we even talk about SEO, one of the critical things to understand about SEO is where it fits in the big picture. So this is something that I often equate to denture, that you have to understand what each step does in order to make a good denture, and each step on their own doesn't always make sense in the context of things. So phase one is initial website planning, development, and setup. You must have a website that is up to Google's webmaster standards. Period. If you, it is like putting a an ice hockey player onto the ice without skates. You simply cannot play. You can have all the traffic in the world, but if you are not up to those Google Webmaster standards, which are freely published by the way, there there's not there's no secret. Um, you must do that. So you certainly cannot go on the ice without skates. I and mean, you could, but you wouldn't be able to play. And it's the same thing for this initial website development. You must have a website that is ready. And if it's not, you should really stop, you know, you could still, you know, watch this title, but it's, it's critical to have that website first. That is the foundation now. And of course you can equate that to having an office. I mean, if you're starting up an office and you're renting space, if you don't have electricity or running water yet, then there's no point to bring patients there. Now, phase two is what we're going to talk about today. It's search engine optimization and website marketing. The goal of which they're the same to drive traffic to your website. That is it. So the goal of search engine optimization, I'll say it again, is to drive traffic to your website. And so are any ads that you might put, you know, on AdWords or any kind of pay-per-click marketing or any websites that link to you. The goal is to get traffic to your website. Now, once you have the, the visitors there, then, of course, you do what we call conversion optimization. That's not listed here. But conversion optimization is a process by which We look at the traffic that you have and say, what can we do better? How can we make them into patients? It's the same question as if you had um, 100 new patients coming to the office a day and you're trying to sell anterior cosmetic work. And as it turns out, you've had 100 patients, excuse me, in that month and you haven't sold one case of anterior cosmetics. So you bring in a consultant and they're going to say, well, is it a patient problem or is it something else, Uh, you know, a conversion problem? And in your case... In this case, if you have 100 patients in your chair and you can't sell cosmetics to one of them, you don't have a traffic problem, you know, a volume problem, because you have the patients there. You have, let's say, a messaging problem or something else. Maybe you don't know how to sell cases the correct way. Maybe they're the wrong type of patient. Maybe your fees are too high. But the point is, is that you can't do any of that until, of course, you've got the patients in the chair. You're not going to call a consultant and say, hey, I had one patient in the chair this month and I couldn't sell him or her a cosmetic case. That's the whole point. And again, maintenance and backup, please have a backup. I don't want to get into that now, but the point is is that you have your website, and here in phase two, search engine optimization, again, and, 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 and AdWords, and however you drive traffic to your site, that's phase two. And again, SEO is just one way that we do that. So when you look at this, competition matters. Let's use an example for me. If you do a Google search, For dental website content writing, my expert dental content writing page comes up second. And there's another page that comes up before it. See, the number two shows where that that number two rank that I have. And so clearly Google looked and saw in their database of web pages that my page was the second most relevant page. Fine. And notice it's just dental website content writing. It's, It's a close match. I have my page's expert dental content writing. But if you do a search for expert dental content writing, you can see now that I'm first. So number one, the keyword definitely matters. As you can see here, dental website content writing, and mine says expert dental content writing, versus here, expert dental content writing, it's an exact match, I rank first. So you're seeing on the top, I'm going back, it says here, competition matters. And competition definitely matters. The reason that I'm ranking number two for expert dental content writing when the keyword is dental website content writing, is because there's not a lot of competition. There is not a lot of competition 
for the search term dental website content writing because my page that's called expert dental content writing ranks well for, for a number of reasons I'm not going to get into, but you would expect to see many, many pages that say dental website content writing, dental website content writing, and you're just not seeing it. So one of the reasons that I'm able to rank a page titled expert dental content writing for the search term dental website content writing is because there's not a ton of competition. If there were a ton of competition, I'd have a much more difficult time ranking with a page that doesn't match the search term. Now we can talk about traffic volume. So I rank first that page. Notice it says shortlesdesign.com slash expert dental content writer for the keyword, excuse me, the search expert dental website content writing. And part of that is, well, hey, that's great, David, you rank first for that search term. But the question is, who cares? Now, if this is a search that a thousand dentists are doing per month, then I am very happy that I rank first for that search term. I should get a ton of traffic. In truth, I get about one or two visits per month from that search term. So I'm glad that I rank first, but that is not the core of my business. And I certainly could not build a business just on that search term and just on this topic. So while you can rank first for a keyword, you could be, you know, um, Atrodox dentist, my area and rank first for that. But again, who cares that you rank first? If that's a search term that doesn't bring traffic to your website, then I don't really care. That's why it doesn't matter. You know, I'm close here to a Benihana, so I could write a web page that says best dental website developer close to a Benihana restaurant. And if you did a search for that, I could probably come up first within the week, if not sooner. And that's great. But again, in the big picture, that doesn't matter because nobody's searching for that. So yes, being number one for a search term is excellent, but just because you're number one doesn't mean that you are going to get a whole load of patients from that search term because of the traffic volume to that search term. And moving back, same thing with competition. It's very easy to rank highly. For example, like I just said, uh, dental, uh, best dental web developer next to a Benihana, you know, in New Jersey. Well, no one else has a page like that in the world. So of course I'm going to rank first. So the competition matters. If there's a ton of competition for that, then it's not going to be that easy for me to rank first. So that's take home number one. Competition absolutely matters when you're looking to rank pages for um, search terms, keywords, and the traffic volume, once you've accomplished that search and you've accomplished that ranking, your traffic volume matters as well. So one of the strategies that I take, um, that we take at Shorthouse Design is that, yeah, um, there might not be, in dental, there's not a ton of search volume for a lot of these small procedures, whether they're mini implants, and I don't mean small in that regard, but whether it happens to be, you know, mini implants, implant overdentures, the searches you would think are a little bit less on those than something, say, dental implants. Uh, but if you have a page for each one of those subjects and your competition doesn't, boom, you're there on competition matters. If you have a page about mini implants and no one else in town does, uh, you get one visitor a month or even two, and one of those convert, it's a $10,000 case. Even if you get 12 visits a year and one, and one conversion per year, $10,000 case a year. And how much did it cost you to make that page? Zero. You wrote the content. So again, those are the two things that I want you to strongly consider. Now, if you look at these keywords, and I'm not showing the results here, dental website design, dental SEO, and websites for dentists, I rank more than 10th. So uh, somewhere in there. And so the, my pages do. So the point is, I would want to do SEO if I were going to, for me, on these keywords. Because I know, for example... I already rank well for expert dental content writing, so I don't need to do SEO on that, so to speak. But again, you know, that doesn't bring in a ton of my traffic. So for me, again, I don't get a ton of my business from search results. It's from reputation and from referral. But if I wanted to say now, what keywords do I want to work on? I'm going to look at the keywords, let's say these three, for example, and we would do research to see if they're appropriate. But I'm going to now do SEO on keywords such as dental website design, because I've done the hypothetical research. It's a search term that is, has a lot of traffic volume, so it's worth working on, and it's a core service that I do. Uh, so that's the take home here, that I want you to look at the keywords that number one, have high traffic volume with your SEO people, but that are services that you do, a lot of. Those are the keywords that are worth doing SEO on. You know, if you do Atrodox and that's, you know, 
one Atrodox treatment per, per month. That's, that's not a real tremendous core of the business of your office. So if you rank 22nd for Atrodox, I'm not sure it's worth spending the time to bring you up to 5th for Atrodox treatment, A, because I don't know what the traffic volume of that is, and I don't know, again, if you convert for that, how valuable that's going to be. So the key is you've got to take a look at search volume of keywords to know where is traffic volume with, with your SEO people, and then what you have to do, but well, first, is you have to decide before even volume what keywords are relevant to you. And once you know what keywords and, and goals you have in the office, implants, Invisalign, mini implants, whatever it may be, those are the things that you want to drive to the top. That's the take home. So the goal of SEO is to drive traffic to your website. But remember, what you do with that traffic once it's there, that's up to you. Remember we talked about the, the, the dentist who has 100 new patients a month and can't sell any whitening cases, excuse me, any uh, anterior cosmetic cases. SEO does not necessarily mean new patients, and that's right here in red. So you could have 20 patients a month to your website or 1,000 patients a month to your website. And even though the goal of SEO and marketing is to drive patients to your website, just because you have traffic doesn't mean you're getting new patients. SEO does not equal new patients. SEO just equals you know more people going to your website to look around. The process of getting new patients, that's conversion optimization, where you actually you know, figure out what the traffic wants and how to best present your offers to the traffic. That's conversion optimization, and that's, of course, that's not here. But remember, SEO is to bring the patients to your website, and then what you do with them, that's up to you. Thank you for your time.